This is Stephen Curry, and you're tuned in to Warriors World TV. What do you think it will take this season to get the Warriors back in the playoffs? Well, we got to stay healthy. One, uh, we've had some you know, bumps and bruises early in the training camp. Uh, lost Brandon Wright. Uh, Ronnie terrio has been out for a while. He's just coming back. Um, as long as we keep everybody on the floor healthy, you know, keep our team chemistry up, I think we also have to start well. Um, I think we have a great opportunity to do that this year. You know, get, get the crowd and the area still, keep them excited about our season, keep the energy around the team up. Um, and all that will come from the first month of the, of the season if we can you know, stay above 500, I think, and uh, really get some confidence going into to November, December. Um, you know, we should be we should be fine down the stretch, and we have a lot of talent. Just got to figure out how to you know produce on the floor. And I know you actually worked out with Chris Paul. Uh, I did. I learned you know what a all-star, Olympic gold medal winner, you know, uh, elite point guard in the league. What he does in the summertime to prepare himself for the season. He also taught me a little bit about how he sees the floor during games using ball screens and um, what plays he makes at certain times of the game and things like that. Uh, he kind of was like my little assistant coach kind of thing during the summer. So uh, it was a you know, great month and a half I had with him. Now being in the NBA, what are who are some of the players you look up to? Um, you know, current any you know point guard, Steve Nash, Chris Paul. Um, I like how Rondo uh, and the Celtics, how he runs his team. Uh, you know, any person that handle, manages a game at the point guard position, is, and that's something I want to be able to, to master, I can pick and choose and take things from those kind of players when I'm watching film of them, watching games. So uh, I'm a fan of, you know, all point guards who, who do it the right way. Now, um, you played in Oracle Arena. So prior to coming to Oakland, what were the rumors that you heard about playing in Oakland and playing in the Oracle? Um, well, I saw the, I can't remember what the slogan was for the playoffs. We believe, we believe yeah, and the yellow shirts, gold shirts and stuff. Um, I saw that and and everybody I talked to all summer just said that's, you know, they might not have the shirts on, but that they have that kind of a passion and intensity and uh, enthusiasm for, you know, every home game and it's always a sellout and, you know, uh, you know we might have to go through some struggles, but they'll stick with us uh, if we do. And uh, yeah, that's great to hear. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to open the night. Uh, get down the floor and having everybody just excited about this new season and uh, I think it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, and what were the rooms that you heard about coming to the Bay Area, to Oakland? Weather's nice, um, you know, a lot of great golf courses for, for me. Yeah. Apparently, uh, I get to get out and, you know, see some great views and, and do all that and uh, even going to San Fran in the city, uh, I like that a lot and um, it's, just, it's, it's just a great area and the people are, are very personable and fun to, to be around and um, it's just a great place to live. What's the big difference between, you would say, your college year at Davidson and then coming here? Well, Davidson's a small country town, about uh, about 50,000 people in the in the town, and um, it's a lot more up-tempo lifestyle up out here, I think, and uh, West Coast, East Coast kind of thing, that's just a big change in itself, <laughs> so uh, I get out of games and and I can't call my friends back at home because it's like three o'clock in the morning over there. So that's an you know, adjustment I got to make, but uh, I'm meeting a lot of people over here and having a great time. What is different out here? Like anything different, like music or anything that that you've heard out here that you're just kind of like, what? I've never heard that before. Uh, you know, actually, I've been out a couple of times. And, really? um, and when I go out and there's some songs that come on that are, I guess there's some Bay Area, Bay Area artists and things that, I've never heard of, and you can tell that they're Bay Area because as soon as the song comes on, everybody in the place just starts going crazy. Like me and my friends that are from the East Coast, we're like looking around, like I've what never heard. Yeah, this isn't on the radio. I'm, so I'm, I'm getting in tune to kind of what different music styles over here and different artists and things like that. And so, do you know any of the artists? Or any I don't. Any I actually, actually, I've been. I have a list at home, and I'm gonna go on iTunes and download them all and, and try to. You so know, you're doing research. I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying okay. to integrate myself a little okay. bit, and uh, you know, people help me out with that. You're the females want to know because you do have a lot of female fans out here, a lot of big following. You're a handsome guy. Oh, thank so you. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask because the females want to know. So, do you have a special somebody in your life? I do actually. We've been going together for about two years now, so uh, you probably see her around here every once in a while. But uh, she lives in LA. But she uh, do have a girlfriend. And now, is there anything like unique about you that really nobody, nobody knows, or that you, that you do? 
that's tough. Um, I don't know. It's I pretty much do everything. I'm open to a lot of things and um, different people. So it's not one like crazy little thing about me that you okay. Let me like, ask you surprised about what what crazy thing that you would want to do, like jump out of a plane, that's something that you're like, you know what, I really want to do that. I really want to try that. That's something I'm so interested in. I do actually want to go skydiving. Um, really? And then my mom did some uh, hang gliding in Brazil when we went to a, uh, had spring break down there. And uh, there's some mountain tops and you can go off the top of the mountain and hang glide kind of down to the beach. I was too chicken to do it back in high school when I was, when she was there uh, mm -hmm. and she wouldn't let me do it. So. Uh, maybe after basketball is over, doing one, exactly. both, one after or basketball. two of those things, yeah. Yeah, because we, uh, we need you on the court. Yeah, the court. Uh, definitely. Well, I'll thank take you that so in. much for being with us here on Warriors World TV. Definitely, um, we have a lot of fan base, and we are happy that you're here because we know you're going to do great things for the team. I appreciate you having me. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, this is Stephen Curry. I just want to say I heard a lot of great things about the fans at Oracle Arena. You know, they bring a lot of excitement to every single home game. I'm looking forward to you coming out to open tonight. Hope you stay uh, you know, enthusiastic about us all year long. Warriorsworld.net. Welcome to the site. And they say we are the dogs, but the dogs still fight.